down, I know you'll be able to solve your problem. Start by using your stop signal. Then, name your feelings. Flex. I'm feeling super mad. Cool it. I feel angry. Okay, good start. You've named your feelings, so let's do some belly breathing to calm down. Then, you can work on solving the problem. Well, I know I feel calmer. I think you're ready to work on solving your problem with S-T-E-P. We started with F, which is... See the problem. I said it. Leo's always hugging the swing. And I said Travis is always bossing me around. When you say the problem using words like always and never, you're using blaming words. That's going to make the other guy feel like it's his fault. And if he thinks you're blaming him, he's going to feel mad. Those kinds of words fall into the disrespectful category, and we're all about being respectful. Let's try something that'll help you say the problem without blaming anybody else. Travis, tell us what you want or need. I want to turn on the swing. And what do you want or need, Leo? I want to finish my turn on the swing. So if we put both of those wants together, we can say the problem without blaming. The problem is, you both want to use the same swing. Yeah, and I want to twist around on it. Travis wants to swing, but I don't. So now what? 